So, you'd think, like, I would have remembered it. Oh! Oh, did you see that? Alright, you gotta rewind that if you didn't see it. This guy just... Wow, he just got wrecked. So this guy was he was coming around the corner a little bit too fast there, a little bit too slick. And he somehow went up, like, the truss of the bridge and then into the river. So, gotta be careful. What can I say? Hey guys, what's going on off here with another video in this video today we're playing some more GTA 5 online heists. But before we get started here, I would like to give a shout out to another YouTuber. Their channel name is Happy Merzel. They do video game plays and more, and you can check out their channel by going to the link down in the description below. We're picking up where we left off. Uh, last time around we took the EMP, and now we have to deliver the EMP uh, into the Humane Lab. So when we go to do the raid, we can set it off and then, like, blow stuff up and then apparently we can get in that way somehow. Uh, so basically what they said is they're doing some shady stuff in the Humane Lab, so we're gonna try to break it up. When I actually did this mission, I was in the helicopter team, like the people who, you know, you fly them in or whatever. Uh, so I never actually saw what you do in there, but, uh, we'll, you know, hopefully they're... Doing something positive, but I tend to doubt it. So anyways, we're going to be delivering this EMP uh, into the Humane Labs. I'm hoping there's no, like, idle people in this game. Sometimes what happens is, let me just get my outfit ready to go here. Uh, da -da -da, mask, yeah, we'll go with, yeah, that one, I guess. All right, why not? That looks good, looks good. Great, ready to play. I'm hoping there's none of these people in this lobby here that aren't going to play. Like, you know these people, like, they're just, they walk away from the game or they're, uh, what do you call it? Like, idle or away from keyboard, whatever it is. I'll never understand that. These people who, like, join the heists and then just, like, walk out of their house. Like, I don't understand how that works where you just set it up and then don't play. But sometimes that happens. Hopefully, this will not be one of those. Let's just make sure everybody's is everybody moving here. Everybody good? Where is everybody? Yeah, everybody's on the move. All right, good. So we got some real players in this game. Hopefully, they're good, but, you know, there's no guarantees. Go get my car here. So what we have to do is drive... Oh my goodness, we have to drive all the way... Oh, fuck this thing. Oh man, we... Alright, so we're gonna drive all the way up here. Pick up this, uh, this truck. Does everybody have a ride? Anybody need a ride? This guy need a ride over here, maybe? I don't know, we'll just check this out. Okay, no, they're in there. They're... Okay, no, nobody needs a ride. Right, we're good. Uh, so we have to go up here to the top of the map, which I don't know why we have to drive that first. The same place where we dropped off the Valkyrie... Um, and pick up the insurgent and then drive it into the humane labs. Now, I'm kind of confused in this mission where the one where you have to initially steal the insurgents. And I know that one had some action. I don't know if this one, like, what exactly you do or how you get in the humane labs. But this guy just said we've got suppressed firearms. So I'm assuming that, well, there might be a reason for that. Uh, so we'll, we'll find out here in a second. So it did say there at the beginning that trip skip is unavailable. What that is is when everybody's completed this mission before, you can just skip the drive. Uh, and it said not everybody has, which I, these these heists are two years old. I don't know you haven't played these heists by now, but apparently somebody has it, so we can't skip the trip. You have any idea how long it it took for Rockstar to come up with the trip skip? You know how many GTA games people have been complaining about how much you just have to drive? from this place to that place, and finally they came out. And it's only in online, too, but I mean, really, I mean, I don't know who, whoa, look at that guy. I don't know who would want to just drive for this long, but anyways. Whoa, did you see that? This guy's, sometimes it's lag. If there's some lag, then it'll look like they're driving out of control when they're not. Now, it's been exactly two years since these GTA Online heists came out. And it's starting to come back to me. I remember when I played them the first time around. Uh, and I remember that normally in my uh, my settings, I turn off the chat. Because I just, I can't sit here and listen to like a bunch of teenagers yell into poor quality microphones for an hour. And then play like 2 chains tracks off of their Apple Music app into the mic. Like, you know what I mean? These I can't listen to that. So normally I turn it off, but... The last, I think it was the Pacific Standard job, I had to turn it on because that mission was, like, impossible if you didn't communicate. So I kind of had to take charge and say, all right, you go here, you get in this, you do that. And that, that heist actually took several days. Not several days, like, sitting here and doing, I'm not one of those lunatics. I mean, like, I had to 
I'd have like a few hours after uh, work, I would do it, and that didn't work. So maybe like an hour I played it and couldn't get it that night. So the next night I played it, couldn't get it that night. I think on the third night of trying that mission, I finally got it. Anyways, hopefully uh, th th this. Anyways, hopefully this one goes a lot more smoothly than that. Look at this guy's car here. I'm starting to remember something about this bridge right here, and I played a lot of GTA 5 on the on the PC, so you'd think like I would have remembered it. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? All right, you got to rewind that if you didn't see this guy just. Wow, he just got wrecked. So this guy was—he was coming around the corner a little bit too fast there, a little bit too slick, and he somehow went up like the truss of the bridge and into the river. So, gotta be careful. What can I say? I think this is the perfect heist vehicle. This one I'm in now—the armored Karuma, because it's armored and it's fast, which is something you don't typically get the best of both worlds with. Hoping this guy's all right, because we got no lives. So I'm hoping that. That's right. Uh oh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh! Oh, right off the roof. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your honking. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get in. Whoa, where are you going? Yeah, bum. All right, I'm in. Guess I'm riding shotgun with this guy. Go to first person, maybe. This guy again. Hey, what's up? Oh, this guy is, looks like a freaking Bond villain here. I swear, GTA has got the ugliest characters you've ever seen. Like, the most ugly, uncanny valley, nightmarish people. Now, where are we going? We're supposed to wait for this other guy who just is in the is in the drink at the, at the moment. Are we going to him? Look at that thing in the back seat. Is that the EMP? Look at that. Holy crap. It looks like something we stole from, uh... Back to the future. Look at that. All right, here he is. Oh, wow. Yeah, he just... Just ramming him. This guy had to steal this truck. That's not even his truck. This guy driving has uh, got an attitude. There we go. All right, everybody good now? All right, so we got uh, friggin' like Javier Bardem from James Bond, the coach of the Ottawa Senators from the looks of it, and then this guy I can't see who actually looks kind of normal. But you get the idea. Ugly characters in this game. This guy keeps saying into the... I don't know if you can hear him because he's talking kind of quiet. It's raining out. That... Like how we could die or whatever is going to be... Sounds like we're not just dropping this thing off, to say the least, so... I thought that's what we were doing, but maybe not. Oh, okay. I should be driving. This guy sucks. This guy sucks. Uh oh, we're off road in here. Oh, oh! Wow. All right. I know this is on an Xbox One, but there are a few things graphics wise that are better on the Xbox One than the PC. I've noticed. The first one is the rain on the roads is actually better detailed on the Xbox One than on the PC. Uh, as well as light, I tend to think that the light can be more realistic on the Xbox One than on PC. Oh my, oh, this guy. This guy is brutal. This guy's killing me here. Oh man. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work. Yeah, you're not, you're not making it up this hill. No, maybe he is. Okay, well, you might, might not make it down the hill. Oh no. Oh no, you bum. You bum. Oh. Oh. Just hit like the the only solid tree. Oh, this, this guy's nuts. It's like a heavily armed Uber. Are we good? Everybody good here? Are we good? Ready to go? Go to humane. So do we have to get out? Is that what you mean? What? Okay, he's sending us a live feed. That's... Not cliched at all. 2.05 in the morning. It's been 2.05 in the morning since, uh... Since 2.05 in the morning, I guess. Oh, no. They're, they're, this place is... Is busy. It's crawling. Oh, no. Okay, so... Clear a path 
Yeah, so we got like some Nazi scientists over. Oh, we got we gotta take this place out. This place is is evil here. Got like some Iranian centrifuges going on over here. All right, let's go. Let's go. We gotta clear a path. I, I, I don't know. If something's telling me these people are not the most subtle. So we'll see. Blue sound blips on the radar indicate how much sound you're. Hopefully not that much. All right, so we're just gonna start green lighting these people now. Here they come! Oh no! Already? We died already. Alerted a well, how, what are you supposed to do? Alerted a Mary, you're shooting them. I don't know how you're supposed to. God, oh man, this this friggin' thing here. It better not start over from like the earlier. We better just start here. Oh my God, I remember. I remember this now. This sucked. I remember this. Because you can't see the whole time because it's dark out. Alright, what do you think? Think we can do this right this time? I I don't because uh, it's, it's kind of unclear how you do this. Okay, so we have to take out the guards in the way. So obviously these two on the road. Is anybody watching this guy? Is anybody gonna see it? No. Okay, there's one down. There's a Merryweather truck and here's somebody coming. Uh oh, here he comes. Somebody just sniped him. Alright, so it looks like somehow we cleared this area here. All right, here we go. Let's go. Me. I just want to make sure I got something with the suppressor that's automatic. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be this one. All right, let's keep sneaking around. So we gotta mine the mini map here to make sure we're not walking in front of people. Hopefully, these other players are competent and aware of that. Looks like they're sneaking up on some people over there. What are we doing here? This guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Uh oh, what are you? What? Maybe not. Looks like we have very many left. One's between the gate and the garage or mission critical. Alright, anybody in my way, I think, is kind of mission critical here. Alright, so what's the move here? We got, uh, looks like some people through the way here. We're kind of stacking up. Right here, let me go ahead and move up. Stack up on this uh, entryway here. There we go. Concentration is key, that worked out. If you have one. Let's keep moving. Man, these guys are actually pretty good working together here. Looks like we got two more groups. Up ahead, so I actually should have dropped those two back there when we had a had the shot, because now it's gonna be a little bit harder. Let's go ahead and take these two out. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, we're good there. Got one more. Uh oh, why can't we hit this guy? There we go. All right, there we go. We cleared the path, and now we can drive the insurgent in. Now here's a major plot hole that I don't think Rockstar thought of when they designed this heist. So we just shot this place up, right? Now we're going to deliver the Insurgent and, like, come back here after a few more setup missions and do the heist. If we shot the whole place up, how are we going to come back in a few days? You know what I mean? Like, how does that... Like, won't it be closed? Or, I mean, it's just not just going to go, like, right back to normal, like nothing happened. Uh-oh, gotta watch out for this guy. I got lead foot here. Okay. And now we have to hack the garage door. I don't know if there's going to be any more shooting in this one, or maybe the hard part's over. I hope it is. So I think somebody's on this garage door. Alright. This guy's still hacking this garage door. What is this, like Home Alone? This guy's hacking this garage door. This is like, uh, like that episode of The Sopranos where, like, the FBI hacks in a Tony's house. That's what we're doing here. Three cliched idea here like some 2002 big fat liar hacking into stuff here we're doing I don't know what are we I think that's when that movie came out 
Wait, how did this guy get up there? Not only how did he get up there, why is he up there? Like, why is does he know something I'm not? Is like he's seeing some something coming that I don't. All right, maybe 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 you should let me have a crack at this thing here. This, this guy's got like a Nintendo Switch that he's working on here or something. I don't know. Okay. Oh, good. did he get it? All right, good. We got the door open. We're going to back this thing in because apparently the implication is that nobody's gonna look in this garage for however long. Leave you may. Okay, so we leave in this thing. There we go. It's like the shadiest van you ever saw. And I think that's it for this mission. <laughs> Better be it for this mission. Alright. And did we just leave the door open or did it shut? I don't know. Oh, there's a Merryweather team inbound? How did I know that? Why is there always a Merryweather team inbound? That's that's like the biggest cliche with GTA 5 is there's always a Merryweather team inbound. The same thing in Call of Duty is they'll always say that the helicopter is at bingo fuel. Like it's like one of those things where every every time the writers of the mission need some plot device, it's always there's a Merryweather team coming. It's bingo fuel. Uh, like there's not time left. Always something like that. I don't know. More petulant complaints. All right, is that it? Yeah, there you go. Set up pass. All right, awesome. So now I think, uh, not sure which ones we got left, but I think we're plugging away. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to see some more awesome content such as this. Uh, and other than that, until next time, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.